Welcome to part two of Tower of Fantasy. We are making our way over to the Astra Omnium Tower for the first time. It came out pretty much right where we left off last time. And uh, yeah, we'll see how things go here. Let me see what this is. Type, some sort of pod, it looks like. Finally got some combat going on too. Got a good amount of XP from that there. Can I go inside or no? Doesn't look like you can. Uh, okay, so right click also is dodge. Same thing with shift. The right click and shift are dodge. Still learning the game, obviously, because uh, we're pretty early on, but I just killed a, like a bunny or something. Overall though, uh, starting out, this game has been pretty cool. It definitely has uh, an aesthetic to it. Kind of reminds me of my playthrough of Scarlet Nexus as well. Um, whoops. Unable to dash while idling. Oh no, we're losing our energy. What happens if you lose all your energy there? Not exactly sure what that thing is. It looks like it has like a ball of water. As always though, if you guys are enjoying this video, definitely leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Let me know if you have been playing uh, Tower of Fantasy or if you plan on checking this game out. We're just getting started for this uh, second episode. So. Probably got a little bit more left to go, but I figured I'd throw that out because, you know, it really does help me know I'm, what series to continue and which ones maybe aren't the hottest. Where is, okay, here we go. Can jump. Oh, it, it releases it. Yeah, if you press control, it, it just jumps off. Uh, I can't. I didn't press it this time and he stopped at the top. Okay, I guess the ladders are a little bit bugged there. But I mean, nothing too crazy. Okay, so we hit level five, but we haven't really done any type of upgrades. So let's see if there's anything we can upgrade now. Oh, there are different types of weapons too. So we have the EM blade and the combat blade. And that's why I was saying it earlier, I guess. Arms. If that those her arms was all Scarlet Nexus, if I remember correct. Nice. We upgraded those two. Let's see, what else do we have here? Relics. So Okay, right now we have the jetpack, but it looks like there's other relics you can get. I guess these are like your traversal style, magnet pulse, cybernetic arm. Okay. There's a lot here. Um, I said in the first video that I've never actually played um, the other game that I'm drawing a blank on right now. Genshin Impact before so i think a lot of this stuff is probably in genshin as well or, or from what i've heard in the past like at least during the trailers um it, it might be like kind of very similar but for me all this is brand new so i have no idea what i'm really doing just yet i'm just trying to follow this so i i know there's probably tons of things um that i'm probably gonna learn on the pro on while we make progress for the game. And if you do have any suggestions or things you would like to point out, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to, to read them and know for future episodes because that, that does really help me out, to be honest. Go to the upper level of the Astra uh, Omnium Tower. So is this the first tower of fantasy? I guess you could say. Exploration progress. As soon as your scrapper is now online, welcome user. 
Hey, I'm a friend of Shirley's. She sent me to get help from you. Is Shirley out of trouble? She's all right. We're just trying to fix a broken deconstructor, and we're hoping to borrow your backup power source. Understood. Take the backup power supply. It shall symbolize our companionship. I shall also synchronize the latest geographical data of Astra with you, my new friend. Synchronizing data. Friend. Okay. So we have to get data from each set. Wow. Oh my god, the map is actually pretty big. What the heck? Okay. Uh Scrapper is asking for help. What you need? Of course. Much obliged. Locking on to Astra Ecological Station. Commencing. Oh. Press two to jump. Okay. Alright, that was a little sketchy there, but at the same time, that was kind of cool. But what happens when this runs out all the way? Are we about to drop? Uh oh. Yes. Well, now we know. There's lettuce. This game has group content later on because right now right we were just single player and been traveling around the world but there is a friend system so if there's a friend system i would assume there's some sort of online mechanic with other players
Order a weapon. Okay. Go to special orders. Make uh, one weapon special order. Thunderous Halberd. Okay. Guess we got it. that's a new weapon. <laughs> order one and order ten. I ordering one. Uh, did I do okay, frosted spear. There we go. So if you go to that, I see you have nine of them. Got it, got it. And then from there you use special orders, weapons. Now we can switch out weapon. And you use thunderous Albert. Welcome to the third generation Simulacrum weapon. Our central database contains the combat memories and weapon memories of many. They have been packaged into independent data modules. Select the highlighted simicrum. Are we starting a new journey? Echo. Activate. I'll come too. Use trait. Okay. So you can get so what are these? Like companions? Oh, we were play as them. Uh talk to the scrapper. This is a Ask about the system. The simulacrum system was developed by Hycros. It converts a host's personality and behavioral data into behavioral ah. algorithms and stores them in specific modules within the database. The algorithms partially retain the personality and memories of the host to serve as combat support when accessed by the user. Please make good use of its capabilities and find the missing harvesters. Okay. You didn't that run into makes... any trouble, did you? I couldn't contact you just now. I got the power source, but there's something I have to take care of. I'll be back as soon as I'm done helping the scrapper. Okay. Stay safe. I see. So it, it transforms you into the character that Simulacrum. <laughs> Simulate crumb. Simulu crumb. Something like that. Sim is something. And this is like an AI form. Stand by. Geographical scan activated. Planning route. Activate harvester eats O2. Looks like we have some new shop items and stuff like that. Stand by. Initiate return sequence. Geographical scan activated. Planning route. Does using the jetpack help, I guess? Ooh. Stand by. Geographical scan activated. Planning route. The gatherers are returning. I'm most grateful for your assistance. Enter return route. Press M to the map and select the space rift. Transit. Okay. Looks like we're going back now.
bring the deconstructor back. Okay. Now, before we uh, make our way back over there, let me see what, what else we have here. So we can upgrade to weapons warehouse. I think this also tells us what kind of weapon we currently have. So this one has like five stars or something. Yeah. We also have the frosted spear. So I don't think I was supposed to <laughs> use that thing earlier, but we did anyways. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do view order and we'll see guaranteed SR r or ssr every ever okay let's try this one we'll skip through it composite bow okay Spend 300 to buy two gold nucleus. Uh, dark crystals to buy two? Sure. Yes. I don't know. We're just going to get 10. And this is where the uh, gotcha part comes in. Oh, man. We got... Okay. We also got a new uh, SR. Uh, Pummeler. Pazica bow. Okay. So now that we have that, if I go to weapons here, Got a warehouse. Now we have a bunch of varieties. So thunderous Albert Hummler. This one's a electric one, and this is a frost weapon. So how do I? Oh, okay, I see. I see. Which? And we're gonna go for the other one that has the star. I would assume that's better, right? I mean, that's my guess. If it has stars, then that means it'll probably be like tier upgraded and it gets better. <laughs> that's how I'm understanding it. We'll upgrade this one too. See how this works. Level nine. Okay. So both are upgrader, are primary and secondary. Let me go to. What? Oh, and now. Okay, so I think since we journey? unlocked the, the pumpler, we also got any. But then there's you can't do anything with other ones me. too. Okay, so if you unlocked the cube, then you might um uh zero barrel. If you unlock the rosy edge, you get you that dual EM stars. That's actually. And Ready to go. What? Are we what? Are we starting a new journey? Okay. What? Are we starting? So I I think I'm starting to understand it. Can I still use this weapon now? Yes, I can. Ha! Got it. So I can still swap the weapons and everything. I think it's just a different type of uh character and combat styles maybe. Bring the deconstructor power back to. What is it? Why is it saying there's new items? Shop and. Oh, do I have a new gift too? If I go to friends, maybe I have like a mailbox. I don't. Backpack. Black nucleus uh, for buying selected or weapons with. Okay. Opens chest. Augment. Oh man, there's equipment, there's missions, gift. It's a lot. All right, I'm just gonna follow what they're telling me to do. You're back. Did everything go smoothly? It did. I did. I hope the power source is still intact. I have faith in you. Now I can repair this old hunk of junk. Oh, you must be hungry after all that tough work. Franz left his cooking pot here. Why don't you get yourself something to eat first? I guess so. Well, why not? You can put ingredients into the pot and make a delicious dish. That telling me to get ingredients? Ah, uh, catch a silver bass in the river. Silver bass. Make a crispy grilled fish using the cooking droid. I'm just gonna cook it or give it live fish. 
You're gonna do everything for me. Yeah, we'll cook one more. Why not? Why not? Right? Okay. Got the second one. Ask Shirley. Whoa, Shirley. That fish smells yummy. Uh, wanna bite? I'd love to, but now's not the time. This rain came out of nowhere, and time's a wasting. Look, I've already replaced the deconstructor's power source. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, I know what's wrong. I found out that its internal projection device is broken. It's probably the prism inside. But I know what to do. See those water cores over there? We'll use one of them as our new prism. Oh, okay. Let me go grab one then. Water cores are really jumpy, so be very, very careful. Transport water cores. They're really jumpy. Come closer. Yes, like that. Like this? Oh, we did it! We did it! Whoa. Look! So, this is what it really looks like. Shall um... we go inside? That's not a great it's disguise. Too risky. <laughs> we'll be fine. If it's just putting a little bit of. I uh... told you it's dangerous out here. I just wanted to help. Help? You're only giving me more trouble. <laughs> but I. There is no but. Go back immediately. Without my permission, you can't. I. I. Surely! Oh. Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, Shirley. She. Hey, no need for all that. It's just some sibling squabble. That being said, I'm impressed that you two managed to fix the machine. Saved me a lot of trouble. It's not my place, Zeke, but surely might be more capable than you think. Maybe you can have a little more trust in her. I understand. I should go talk to her. Maybe we should let her calm down a little bit. How about we let those two kids have their chat first? You're right. I was too harsh on her earlier. She probably doesn't want to see me right now. Please take care of Shirley for me. It's raining. I don't want her to catch a cold. You can count on me. You can count on me. Find Shirley. Yay. Well, actually, I'm going to make this episode a little bit shorter than the previous. Uh, so there is a few things I need to get done at the time of recording. So, so if you guys did enjoy it, definitely leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more. Let me know if you have been checking it out or you plan on to. Uh, for now, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one.